Do you want to learn how to take a cool shot like this? Well stick around in this video, I'm going to be doing the step by step process as to how to take this shot and how to make it look cool. So I've done a lot of pictures similar to this before. I've done one where I've like ripped my chest open and you can see like me ripping my chest open or the shirt open, the jumper open over and over through each layer of jumper and it looks kind of cool. It gives that kind of vortex effect. And today I'm gonna show you how to do it again with the picture you hopefully saw a second ago in the intro where I'm gonna have a picture frame and I'm basically gonna hold it up and then it's gonna be me inside the picture frame holding another picture frame. And it's just gonna be an endless photo of just me holding picture frame after picture frame and just goes into infinity and it really draws your eye in as a viewer when you see a picture like that. So I don't want to draw it out loads, I'm going to try and get it all done in three minutes, really fast tutorial, it's really easy to do an effect like this so hopefully by the end of it you guys will have full confidence to go out and give a few mirror vortex kind of, I'm going to call it vortex picture, give some vortex pictures a go. Okay so you need a picture frame first, I have this one. It's like a sketch of me when I was younger, not even that young, maybe in fifth year in secondary school. And yeah, basically it doesn't matter what's inside because we're gonna be basically erasing all that area and then we're gonna replace it with the picture of me holding it again below. So let's find a new location to shoot the picture. Let's go there and explain exactly what to do next. Okay, so this is the background we're gonna use. It doesn't have to be anything fancy because the main subject is gonna be this frame thing and then it's gonna be keep vortexing its way through. So there's no real focus on background so you can do it wherever you want. And yeah, basically what we're gonna do, I'm gonna make loads of different poses. I'm gonna pose like this and then I'm gonna pose like this, my pose like that, you know, mix it up. Most of it's about post-processing here, but basically take loads of different pictures of you holding the frame and make sure your like arm isn't across the whole thing. I mean, you can do that, but it'll just be really hard for you to edit afterwards. So I'm just gonna take loads of photos now. Then once I have these photos taken, I'm gonna jump straight into editing with you guys and show you how to combine them all together. Okay, so I have the images all now downloaded onto the iPad and we're ready to go. These are the five or I think I took eight images. So I'm just gonna skip through the eight images on the screen now. As you can see, they're all pretty similar. I didn't change location at all for any of the shots, but I changed my position. So for every shot, I'm standing in the same position, but I'm doing different poses. I'm holding it under my arm. I'm doing it, I didn't do any above my head, but like I have my chin on it, you know, I have my arms. So mix it up, do a different one in each pose. And now jump straight into Photoshop app, whatever you use or if you use proper Photoshop, I really want to get that soon. I'm just debating, should I spend the like 40 quid a month for old package or should I just buy Photoshop for 12 quid a month? I don't know, I might do it soon, but yeah, for now, just hop into any app you have and we'll crack on from there. Okay, so as you can see on the right side, I've layered every image on top of each other. So it's basically just, if I move the top image out of the way, it's the image below and so on and so on with all the eight images. So basically all you have to do is tap on the top layer and basically select your razor tool on Photoshop and then erase the erase the area of the picture so that you can see the picture behind. Now I'm just gonna do it really fast here just to explain what we're doing. So look, do you see the way you can see the layer coming through the back? Now you just go to that layer below, reposition it in the layer beneath until like it matches up. That's a bit tilted, but you know. At the moment that layer is not looking great because I mean, it's so far back because the mirror is tilted at a complete 90 degree angle. So then what I can do, I can choose one of the layers that are more upright and then that'll fill in, fill in better. So look, I can just rearrange this one, put this one here. And then as soon as I have that, obviously it's a bit rough now with those white around the edges. But once I have that, I tap on that second layer now. Again, I go to a razor and then I start raising that layer within the black frame of the picture because the black frame is going to be consistent throughout. And then we reposition that layer beneath to fit within this time frame and as you can see it's starting to form a non-stop thing too so basically what you do you get all your pictures add them on top of each other basically like stack like one two three four five six seven eight and then you're basically erasing the layers so you can see the whole first layer and then once you erase part of it you'll see onto the second layer erase part of the second layer see onto the third layer within the boundaries of the picture frame so i'll chat to you again when i have it fully edited but i'm sure it'll look really cool like it's got to look fresh because these vortex things always do. Okay, so here's the final image. I think it worked out pretty nicely in general, the way it just kind of seems like the vortex, which is what we're looking for. So if you did enjoy it, make sure to tap subscribe and hit like for some more. And let me know below, do you like these kind of tutorial edits things as we go? Do you have any pictures or styles of photography or anything, Photoshop, anything you'd like a tutorial done on? Let me know below. I might make this into like a tutorial Tuesdays or something. Let me know what you think. Anyway, so until then, see you in the next video.